Okay. Hare Krishna. You had a question, son? Yep. I was asking, if, why does Krishna always change his number of peacocks? Of peacock feathers. Krishna just likes peacock feathers because he likes the peacocks. The peacocks, they dance for Krishna. And then Krishna starts to dance with the peacocks. And then when Krishna dances with the peacocks, the peacocks become so ecstatic. They start to dance more. And, and then when the dancing stops, then the peacocks are so grateful to Krishna, they want to offer him something, they want to offer him a gift from their, out of their hearts, from their devotion. So they, but they don't have anything to give. So what do they give? They give their peacock fat from their own body. And then Krishna is so grateful for the gift of their feathers and he puts them in Western on their crown, on his crown always. So this is the love between Krishna and the peacocks. That's why there's always look at the picture there. Peacocks are around Krishna. Oh, see that peacock? Even in New Vrindavan there were peacocks running around in the land in West Virginia, you know, they were just like like how we have like pigeons in New York and regular birds, they had Peacocks just running around, opening up their feathers and everything. Yeah. And when we dress the deities, mm -hmm. there's uh, certain things you always put. Mm -hmm. And one of the th things you always put is a peacock feather. Okay, good, good. And also, like when offering any food, we like when we offer bhoga or enjoyment for Krishna, we must also include a tulsi leaf. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's good to know. You know. Yeah. So this is like a, a form of devotion when the peacock offers a offers a feather from his own yeah. body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can offer whatever we have to Krishna. Okay. okay. We offer to devotion and he'll always accept it. All right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. And you had another question, son? You had one more question? Yeah. Why does Krishna always stand like that when he's like this? He stand like that. Oh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's called three banga. He's like bending three four place, three four place. Here, the knee, bending the neck, and then bend on the hip. Three banga. Yeah, this is how Krishna exhibits his beauty. Three banga lalitam. That's how it's described in the shastra. This, this form is very, very attractive, this curved form. Mm -hmm. So he stands like that. Whatever Krishna does, he does for the pleasure of his devotees. He wants to attract the hearts of his devotees. So in this way, so beautiful he stands like that. That the devotees, it's very sweet. And Balram's do that too. Yeah, he's doing it too, because he's Krishna's brother. You, you and he was the first Krishna. Sorry? Then that Balram yeah. was the first Krishna. And then when Krishna came in, then he was the original. Who okay, who was first, Amani? Krishna or Balaram? Balaram. No. 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 Who, who's holding his hand and who? Who's leading and who? <coughs> uh, Balaram. So that means Krishna was first? Yes, yeah. Balaram's leading and leading the Krishna. Who is older? Not involved in it. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> it's, it's actually there's two considerations. But this may be a little bit there's tattva and there is rasa. In truth, in like philosophically, <coughs> Krishna is is the older, is the original personality of God. Govinda Madhi Purusha But then Balaram. This first expansion within the rasa in the relationship, you don't understand the relationship in, in, with Krishna and his devotees in Vrindavan. Balaram plays the part of the older brother, he plays like that. But actually, Krishna is the original. You hear that? So, remember, always two million years before Krishna comes, Balaram always comes to arrange his pastimes because Balaram deals so. A lot of Balaram deals with time. That's why he always has this hole right here, this farming instrument. Wow. And the cow has peacock feathers. Yeah, well, everything has, has to partake of Krishna's pleasure, you <laughs> you're know? Very, you're very perceptive. Yeah. You're very sharp eye. <laughs> yeah, so this 
very important this plow because you can't plant any seeds before it's time or after it's time. So he comes with this science of agriculture. That's why you see in Mexico, when a certain star rises above the horizon, you'll see a certain serpent come down the side of the pyramid. And he's the original serpent. He's the couch for Vishnu. Everything he does is to, to make Krishna comfortable. Everything is all about Krishna's pleasure. So we're just taking a cue from the realm of the divine. You know, if I'm wrong, correct me, you know? You know? So that's the science. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Thank you. You have very good questions. You're a very smart boy. Thank you. <laughs> Hare Krishna. And live and direct from the Bhakti Center at 25 First Avenue. First Avenue. Please come down, visit, show your support, and mostly come bring some love. Hare Krishna.